Yeet. 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 Yeah, we got a big old box of customs, thick subs, bloodline members, as well as what we got going on at Money in the Bank. And of course, 4th of July, we'll talk about that in just a sec. I want to start out right here with Jacob Fatu. Now, there's a lot of people that have been talking about like, yo, Mattel, when are you guys going to make Jacob Fatu? That's the great thing about the WHF channel, man. We like putting the content in early, and I feel like this is a great representation of what the man is bringing. I do have to do the set or the actual tight designs, but this is kind of like the foundation as to where this figure is going to go. So drop a like if you guys want to see Jacob Fatu, as well as the rest of the Bloodline members being united right here in today's video. And speaking of which, you know, I know this is Bloodline, but at the same time, like, what is good, Jimmy? We miss you, bro. So what are we doing? We're making an ultimate edition version. So that way, when Sami Zayn rolls up, he'd be like, hey. now we got him in ultimate edition. I got to push the head down, though. I feel like it's in a little bit too high. But yes, we gave him the freshy, fresh bloodline gear, which in its own right, bro, I feel like it's overdue, man. Like, when are we going to get those? Like, we got it in the black. We recently got it in the white. Yeet, yeet. Yeet! Oh man, this Jey Uso Ultimate Edition, you guys. Oh my goodness. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to pick this one up, go check it out. Hit the link in the description below. Discount code HERO is going to save you 10% on all of that yeet, man. Now, I did some couple editions. I mean, I feel like Ultimate Edition Series 22 was great, but it could have been a little bit better, right? Something more current, something more updated. So we got the yeet shirt on there, and I also added that necklace that we got with Ricochet, because the original one that they were using for him, you guys, it was like this massive Stone Cold Steve Austin style, which honestly, it wasn't working for the lad. So the fact that we finally had an appropriate scale necklace to not only put on Jey Uso, but as well as some of the other characters that we've seen in WWE. Oh yeah, and early predictions right here. Money in the bank, shorty what you drank with Jey Uso. Drop a like, you guys. If you guys think that figure is just Mwah! Now, right here, CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk. He came out as a damn referee, bro. So, yeah, we haven't gotten one from Mattel, so we kind of made our own version. This is based off the Jazzwares Ultimate, I almost called it Ultimate Edition, the Supreme figure, mixed in with his ringside exclusive. And, I mean, it just works out, bro. You get the points of articulation with the butterfly joints. You get the referee shirt. You get the long sleeve, too. You got to have the long sleeve, man. You can't have CM Punk lacking on that shirt. Now, given that it is 4th of July, bro, if you guys saw SmackDown, I believe it was actually last Friday. Yeah, he ended up coming out with this red, white, and blue gear. And I think Logan Paul executed it perfectly. Now, he didn't have the actual, like, entrance piece that you are seeing here. But this works out, bro. Now, I know you may be asking, like, Hero Fix, where'd you get some of these accessories, man? Well, that's the cool thing, bro. When you've been collecting for over 10 years, this actually came off the old Jax, Tori Wilson, or was it Trish? No, it was Tori. And you just add that on to, like, a recent, bro. And I think that works pretty damn good. I think that's a great way to celebrate 4th of July, man. And I want to go ahead and hop into this one because this one's awesome. This one is definitely... <laughs> Oh my gosh, every time I see Bald Michaels, there is no way that you can discredit this man as not being one of the greatest of all time, bro. This is insane. So, dating back probably almost three, four years now, this gear was actually worn in Saudi Arabia. It was him and Triple H, but I had to upgrade it, bro. We got it in Ultimate Edition, and... <laughs> Every time I see this man, I can't take that man serious. But I love that. For current Michaels, that's definitely a job. Now, Drew McIntyre, this man also has been needing an Ultimate Edition upgrade, which in its own gear for promo gear, yeah, this doesn't necessarily work. I do think that the skin tone is clashing, but I like the black jacket with the whole, like, promo theme, long black pants, dude. He's also worn jeans, so I had to play it out, man. We need a promo, so I feel like Drew McIntyre, yeah, Money in the Bank's got some st good stuff in store for you. Now, one that's kind of a standalone figure that I was utilizing for, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was uh, not Rick Steiner. Yeah, it was Rick Steiner originally when we made the very first Ultimate Edition right here of Braun Breaker. I was using Steiner, but again, it only works to an extent, so I kind of want to put him out on his own, so we kind of get away, yeah, we got away from those Steiner boots, I, I wanted to put Steiner back into his rightful place, but I also wanted this man in Ultimate Edition, and I think the fabric goods mixed in right here with the Triple H style of torso, Mwah! we're going to go and put that man to the side, now one man that could have used some great benefits on that recent Ultimate Edition, it's right here, 
Gunther, that torso, yeah. If you guys saw the review, we weren't fans of it, man. It was way too small. It was like a James Ellsworth looking ass. But I feel like like my old Ultimate mixed in with the new head skins that we did get with it. Dude, it's just so much better. Mattel, please redo Gunther. Drop a like, you guys, if you think that torso needs to be redone with your boy Gunther. Now, Balor, check this out, you guys. You're going to like this. This is what we were looking for, right? So this is the brand new Elite Series 111. And again, it works well, but it definitely works even better with the new scan update that we ended up doing on it. Again, the original one just wasn't cutting it for me. And I'm not going to go ahead and let that to shame. <laughs> Check this out. So we kind of did our own version of what we might get. I mean, this could easily go down, right? Let's say they ended up having a rematch. Let's say that... Um, when it's Damian Priest and Seth Rollins, they have the match, and then referee, you know, he just gets injured, right? So he's like, he comes out, he's furious, he's angry, he's like, oh, you don't think I'm good enough, huh, Rollins? Well, let's play the calls right here as a special against Enforcer. There is a storyline developing right now between him and Rollins, and I cannot wait to see as to where that goes down. Ba -ba -da -ba! And we got John Cena over here, bro. Is looking ass from his most recent ultimate. I love Every single head scan that we got with this figure. So I wanted to upgrade my old Elite. Like, this one was already great. This is kind of based off, like, that Super Mario Brothers 3 inspiration. But that angry, screaming scan look that we got with it. Oh, my gosh. So many good things. <laughs> you guys, you guys. All right. So, true story. Here it is. Rikishi. He's got a bunch of kids, bro. Like, apart from the Usos and whatnot and the whole bloodline, this man has really done it up, sir, bro. And, and just the whole bloodline family and all. I mean, like, I believe, like, every single bloodline member has, like, three or four kids. So this is, like, young Fatu going to high school. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be the best kid. <laughs> All right, so this is kind of where we're going with it, and it's going to make more sense as the reason as to why we got some of these remaining bits. But, all right, Rikishi, we needed his lower half. His boots were actually perfect in order to execute, and we'll get more in-depth, you guys. If you guys want to see, like, a full in-depth breakdown on how to make your own uh, Jacob Fatu, go in the comments. And, of course, drop a like because that's the only way that we're going to know. But, yes, lower extremities, Rikishi. Oh my gosh, what is this? And this actually works, bro. Even though this is like a Hasbro scan, it definitely works well. I think both of them are benefiting, man. And one that one that would would definitely and most def benefit from an ultimate edition upgrade right here is the Sandman. Now, most times, most cases, any time that I turn on the TV and watch ECW, this man was usually wearing jeans. So, like, not to discredit the man and Elite Series 111, I love that figure. It was a very unique, specific gear for Sandman. I wanted this man Ultimate Edition, bro. So, we actually ended up getting all converted. It is on Velcro, so I'm pretty sure I can do it one hand. We're going to do it the one handy style, see if we can pull it off. But, yes, we got the man on butterfly joints. We got the man full articulated, and rightfully so. I believe that the blue jeans look, it's just a more iconic, more memorable moment. Plus the fact that the man didn't come with a damn freaking tattoo. Like, how the hell are you going to forget the barbed wire tattoo on his arm? Maybe they just said, oh, oh, okay, we'll just throw in some barbed wire and call it a day. Come on, Mattel. You'd be lacking on that cracking. Now, check this out. This is perfect. So, let's say there is a new money in the bank right now. Let's say Paul Heyman is done with the bloodline because in its own right he's technically done with the bloodline look at that you guys i love that i feel like these two go hand in hand so damn good i don't know what it is about the fresh fresh but we love that white gear especially with cody i feel like this one was great but those scans as far as the options they just weren't right so what we do we leveled it up bro check this out this is based off that ultimate edition cody Rhodes with the new recent elite i know some of these are just head swabs but head swabs that definitely needed a must without a doubt and that kind of applies for AJ Styles, the recent top picks 2024, that one actually gave me some great benefits. So this is the old scan from the Ultimate Edition, and this is where you're going to notice the significant differences. So the older one, it kind of has more of like a light skin tone, and you can see it kind of clashing with the neck. So I wanted to show you this mainly due to the fact that this is what I needed. I was using like a Ultimate Edition, just more of a darker skin tone, and I feel like that head scan, it wasn't working. It was a little bit, it was too much like lighter compared to the actual torso. So having these two right here side by side, mwah, I love it, bro. I feel like Phenomenal Man and Anthony would be doing it up. <laughs> now check this out. 
Reason why we did this is that we can't let a Sandman go to waste. So, I mean, it hasn't been worn, but it could be worn. Same style of pants, same style of shirt that he did have underneath. So, yeah, Tony, if you agree, drop a like. But, yes, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of the brand new Jacob Fatu. Shawn Michaels, we ain't asking. Drew, most overdue. And as far as you, Gunther, please make it happen. And I want to wish everybody a fourth, a happy Fourth of July weekend. Hope you guys are having a great one. I cannot wait for Money in the Bank. Go in the comments right now. Who do you think is going to win Money in the Bank? I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you cringies on the next one. Throw it up, bro.